What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another epic opening and today we'll be opening Tournament Pack 2. This is for the 18,000 subscriber special. Yes, 20 packs of Tournament Pack 2 guys. We're looking for the infamous Morphing Jar Ultra Rare. Yeah, that would be absolutely insane. And some of the rares in this set, guys, are absolutely insanely priced. These packs cost me $2,000. I was hooked up by one of you guys. Yeah, $2,000. Crazy. There's only three cards per pack. We're getting 60 cards for $2,000. Before we get started, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. Bujin Yamato, Guy the Magical, Knight of Dragons, and a first edition Shinado King of Higher Plane from Dark Crisis. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed and let me know in the comments what card do you want to see from Tournament Pack 2. Also, we're going to be opening Spell Roller Booster Pack, Metal Raiders, and a few Battles of Legend Armageddon. Can we pull the 10k Dragon again? So yeah, let's get into this, guys. This is going to be awesome. We're going to start off with these packs and then we'll get into Tournament Pack 2. These are just a little bit of a, you know, an appetizer. Maybe we'll pull something crazy. We can still pull the 10K, which is, you know, a over $1,000 card raw, $4,000 card PSA 10, Numeron wall, high rate draw. All right. So, so far, not much. These were in a box that I had opened already. These are the last of the box. There's a Skull King. We do have these two reprint packs. I think we're going to do those. Probably in a second. We're probably going to do Spell Ruler next after this pack. Here we go. Salaman Great Sunlight Wolf. Time Stream. That's not a bad card. It's like a dollar. Let's go with Spell Ruler and let's see. Can we pull an Epic Relinquished? Something like that. Weather Report. Ceremonial Bell. Giant Total who feeds on flame. Total. Total. Electric Snake and UFO. Total. There we go, double turtle. And there's a crab turtle! There's so many turtles! What is this? <laughs> That's crazy though. Triple turtle in the same pack. The triple turtle pack. Can you beat a triple turtle pack? I'm not really sure. That is pretty incredible. The triple turtles. Are they telling us something about these packs? Are we going to pull something insane? Alright. Fossil Warrior Skull Bone. Alright. Next pack. Can we pull the 10,000 dragon? Here we go. There's a Sonya. Secret rare. Next pack. Come on. Give us a Utopia. Give us a 10,000. Dark Spell Regeneration. All right. Last chance at Battles of Legend. Last chance to pull the lottery pull of 10k dragon. Let's see if we can do it. Weathering Soldier. Okay. So we're going to go into this Metal Raiders pack, guys. Then we're going to do the craziness. We're going to open up the big boys. The tournament pack twos. Potential morphing jar. Which is just a crazy expensive card. It's even more expensive than 10k dragon. You know, we've got rares like... Um, <laughs> what is that called? Uh, the Rider. Dokubo Rider. There's the Mikazen Jury guy. There's a shield and sword from Metal Raiders. I forgot we were even opening Metal Raiders. And I was just flying through it. Yeah, so there's all kinds of stuff in here. But let's just see what we can pull, guys. I'm so hyped. Okay. Whew, there's a lot of good rares in the set. So we want to pull the good rares. There's some good comments like Dancing Elves, like $15. We want to pull, obviously, any foils are insane. We, the ratio, by the way, guys, let me show you, is 1 in 18 for a super rare and 1 in 108 for an ultra rare. Obviously, we only have 20 packs. So that gives us less than a 20% chance to pull an ultra rare. And they're loose, so that kind of like makes it even less of a chance. And then this guy, I think, did actually have unweighed packs. We have one out of 18 super rare. So we have we're looking at maybe one super rare is our best hope. If we hit an ultra, we can freak out. I don't know where the foils will be. I've only opened one TB2 pack. There we go. Dancing elf. That's the best common in the set, I believe. Two-headed King Rex. This is the same pack we opened on the 10k. We got these three cards. So we're going to be sleeving up some of the comments and eventually all of them once I end the video. But Dancing Elf is definitely getting a sleeve because that's an expensive comment. It is off-centered, so that's unfortunate. I'm going to move all of this pile. I don't want the TP2 comments mixing with the Battles of Legend cards. We want to keep them separate. Okay. Next pack. I don't know. I still don't know where the foil slash rare will be because we only got commons in that pack. 
TP2, these are like a hundred bucks each. I'm just shredding a hundred bucks. Look! Oh my same pack! Okay, so we got the good we got the good comments, so that's good. But either way, I mean oh look at the centering, it's the opposite direction. So we got centering off that way, and then we got the centering off that way. So two dancing elves, two two-headed king rexes, and a Dharma Cannon. So so far, no rares and no foils. Can we pull can we just pull one? That's that's the goal. We want to pull one foil. And let's see if we can do it. Ooh, Takehi. That's a good, or not a good, or it's a common. This is a good one. Queen of Autumn Leaves and Water Magician. I haven't even, I don't even remember Water Magician. But Queen of Autumn Leaves, I remember, is a decent one. Okay. Next pack. So far, no rares, no foils. Can we do it? Hopefully, we got some unweighed packs and we get the luck. Crawling Dragon number two. Dancing Elf again. There is a rare revival of Doku Rider. Doku Ro Rider. This is a decent one, I think. The Doku Ro Rider Ritual is the better one. This is the ritual spell for the Doku Ro Rider. So there we go, our rare. They are in the back, so we did get a rare. We got another Dancing Elf. That's three Dancing Elves. That is a good common pull. Crawling Dragon, I don't think is too great. I mean, all of them are worth a few bucks because these packs are so expensive. Um, but that's pretty cool. So our first rare pull, we want to pull the guy with the crazy name. I can't even remember his name, but there's, there's some good ones. But we want to pull that one. We want to pull the... Bountiful Headhuntress, I think, is one of the names. We want to pull that one as well. Looks like the uh, condition on them are pretty good, though. We got Spirit of the Books. It's nice. We've got a Sky Dragon. And a Turu Purin. That's a common. That's pretty cool. Okay, so, so far, one rare. No foil. I'm praying that we get a foil, guys. Hit the like button for luck. Can we pull a foil out of Tournament Pack 2? We've had pretty good luck. We did pull a Morphing Jar out of Tournament Pack 4. Make sure you guys check out that video. So, can we do it on Tournament Pack 2 as well? Here we go. Stuffed Animal. Garuzis. Oh, Warrior of Tradition. Oh, yes. That is a sweet one. Warrior of Tradition. Not going to lie. I thought, wait, what is Bountiful Headhuntress? I thought that was this one. Is that another one? Warrior of Tradition. Okay, so this is like one of the best cards in the set, even just as a rare. This The lowest listing for this is $150, so it is off-centered, unfortunately. But either way, Mint Condition, Warrior of Tradition, Rare, that is a really good pull. So that's our first big pull. And Dokuro Raibu, the, I, that, that's a tongue twister. The, uh, the Rare version looked like it was like over $20 as well, so that was a pretty good pull. So that's a sweet pull. And I forgot about uh, Skull Knight. Obviously, that's a sweet card. Queen of Autumn Leaves and a Water Magician. So we got another Queen of Autumn Leaves and another Water Magician. There you go. These cards are way off-centered, so grading is probably not a thing for these. And yeah, people do grade these commons and rares. Because they are that rare. And back in TP1 and TP2, they had original... Uh, they had... Like the first time it was ever printed was in TP1 and TP2. Once they got to TP3, they started reprinting stuff. So the sets were bigger in TP1 and 2 as well. So it kind of made the cards harder to get, more unique, stuff like that. So they're they're more expensive. There's a Faith Bird. Crawling Dragon number two. And a Dokuro Rider. Yes. Okay, another off-centered one. But that is a really good rare to pull. I mean, check that guy out. He's pretty expensive. I don't remember what his price is, but I mean, just look at that cool artwork. A guy on a bike with horns. I mean, how do you beat that? We got the ritual and we got the ritual spell. That's really cool. Warrior of Tradition as well. So far, our rare pulls have been really good. We've already pulled four rares. You usually get one every three packs. So we're about on pace, I'd say. What One every three packs is the ratio. Can we go ratio and pull a foil? The super rares in here, they really aren't that crazy. I mean, they're still valuable because they're from TP2, but compared to the rares, they aren't that crazy. So here we go. Crawling Dragon. We got a Dharma Cannon. And a Sonic Maid. Okay, Sonic Maid. I, I think Vin's wanted this one, and this one's actually centered. Oh my goodness. This thing's like maybe a PSA 10 card. Sonic Maid Rare. Let's see what the value of this thing is. None listed in Near Mint. There are none on TCG Player in Near Mint. So... We've got a fairly well centered. The top to bottom is a little bit off. Fairly well centered, none listed, Sonic made. So that is pretty cool. We're getting some good rares because there are a couple bad rares in here. And so far we've done well to pull some really good ones. So I can't complain about that. 
TP2. Can we get a foil, guys? Spirit of the books. We got a Sky Dragon. That's pretty cool. There's Slifer, but just as a regular old dude. And a Turu Puron with a weird mark on the top right. That is interesting. Turu Puron. Okay. So what do we got left? We still have like 10 packs. Okay. We've done really good. We've pulled four rares. Can we pull a crazy foil card, guys? Can we do it? We got another Faith Bird. Crawling Dragon number two. Yes! One of the best rares in the set. Skull Guardian, guys. The centering on it is a little bit off, but honestly not terrible. I might actually try to grade this one. Skull Guardian. Tournament Pack 2. We are pulling all the fire rares. Wow. Wow. What an epic card. I mean, just look at that. That is awesome. That is awesome. Skull Guardian. There are not many printings of that. It, and... I'm not 100% sure how many it is. It could be the only one. There may be a one reprint or something like that. Okay, Spirit of the Books. We've gotten that a few times. Another Slifer. And a Turu Puron. Okay. All right, so no foil yet, but so far five fire rares. And, I mean, with the price of these rares, I can hardly complain. Really good pulls. Can we get a one foil? Can we get a Morphine Jar and just lose it? Stuffed Animal. Garuzis. And a Dokuro Rider. Okay, a double, but I will take that one. That's a good one. They're both off-centered, unfortunately. But if we're going to get a double, that's a pretty good one to get a double of. Dokuro Rider. Really cool looking card. I just love that they have, they have regular rituals in here. Because this is the original. I mean, this is a tournament back too. This is 2002. This is when rituals... People still were printing rituals for some reason. I mean, this is before they realized, oh, these are, like, terrible. <laughs> okay. So, so far, no foils, but we have pulled six rares. That is actually incredible. Okay, Faith Bird. Crawling Dragon. Oh, there it is. Beautiful head. Okay, beautiful. Why did I think it was bountiful? I don't know what I'm talking about. This is the one. See, I knew she had a big sword. We pulled another incredible rare. Okay, way off-centered. Another rare. Guys, we're pulling rares like crazy. Like, pulling the rares is better than pulling the supers almost. In a lot of cases, like, some of them are more expensive than the Supers. So this is, I mean, <laughs> this is awesome. We're pulling rares left and right. We still have six packs left. We've pulled seven rares. The ratio, we should have pulled the seven rares out of 21 packs. We've only opened 14 packs. So we're pulling 50% more rares than we should. Okay, Spirit of the Books, Sky Dragon. Can we pull a foil? Two or four, and we've, got, we've gotten that same pack, like, five times. Okay. This, this is going really well. Hope you guys are enjoying this tournament pack too. I mean, you're not going to see this, guys. This just, you don't see these packs opened anymore. You don't see, oh, Parrot Dragon. I forgot about this card. This is, this is the best common in the set. I forgot about Parrot Dragon. Wait one second. Okay, maybe not. It used to be like a $30 common. There is a near mint listed for like $8. So I guess it's down, but I mean, still eight bucks for a rare is not bad. Maiden of the Moonlight. We haven't hit that one in a while. And a Faith Bird. So these are the ones we hadn't hit. No, we hadn't hit these at all. We hadn't hit a Maiden of the Moonlight, and we hadn't hit a Pair of Dragons. So those are both good cards. And either way, $8 is a good is a good common. So the centering is a little off, so probably not gradable. We've pulled a lot of the same commons. Okay, four packs left. As I was saying, guys, tournament pack four, they just, they barely exist anymore. I'm sure there are some, like, around, but they're never for sale. So thank you again to the guy who hooked me up with these and I was able to buy them, you know, for a lot, but you know, it was worth it for this video. It's going to be awesome. And we're pulling pretty good. We're actually getting a lot of super good cards. Let's see if we can get a super rare, ultra rare Morphine Jar. Queen of Autumn Leaves and a Water Magician. So we got a Water Magician again. See, you can kind of see like the order they go in. They kind of go in the same order. There's a Queen of Autumn Leaves. Okay. Three packs left guys. Can we pull a foil? Can we pull something crazy? And here's the thing. The thing, another reason I was willing to buy these, even if it turns out they were scaled or something, the rares are so good in the set that it almost, you know, it makes the risk worth it. So I still get some epic rare cards, even if we don't pull foil. So here we go. Stuffed animal. Garuzis. Another Sonic made, guys. Another one. That is eight rares. So our ratio for rares is higher than it should be. Double Sonic made. Vince is going to be hounding me to sell him one of those. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, two packs left. 18K subscriber special. Thanks again, guys, for 18,000 subs. And don't forget the 19K special with Lord of D10 and the 20K special 
with that insane opening with Champion Pack, LOB First Edition, and Retro Pack 2. All right, Parrot Dragon again. That's a good one. Made it to the Moonlight again. And Faith Bird. So there's the same little rotation we got. Got a Made it to the Moonlight, which I believe is a solid rare. And a Parrot Dragon. This one looks like it might be gradable, centering wise. Oh, the back. The back has a little. Oh, maybe that was. Maybe I spit on it. Whoops. Yeah, that's why. I, another reason I like to sleeve my cards is then I don't spit on them. Okay, last pack, guys. Our last chance at a foil. No foils would be. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I would love to pull a foil, and I would hope we would. But if we don't, that's okay because we've gotten eight rares, and we've gotten really good rares. So, really incredible luck, and I can't complain. So, if we do pull a foil, it's just a plus, and it's just exciting. So, here we go. A pair of dragon again. I will take that. Made in the Moonlight. Is it going to be another Faith Bird? It is going to be another Faith Bird. So, no foils out of 20 packs, guys. And they are loose. They're from all the kinds of different places. So, you can't really expect too much. But... On the other hand, we pulled pretty amazing. We pulled over ratio on rares. Let's see what we did. Guys, we pulled the best rares in the set, basically. There is nothing to complain about here. This is pretty cool. So let me go like this. Go like this. Yeah, check these out. Double Sonic Maid. That's a pretty good one. Double Doku Rider. Doku Ro Rider with the, the ritual. The beautiful Headhuntress, Warrior Tradition, which are basically the exact same. It looks like they're just sisters with different color hair. And a Skull Guardian. So that was a, an incredible opening, guys. Even though we didn't get a foil, we didn't get a Morphing Jar. We already have a Morphing Jar, so it's fine. But yeah, that was fun. Hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys like the video and share it out if you want to help me out. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs>